Good afternoon, guys. Chef Ray Bear here with D Herbs Kitchen. This afternoon, we'll be doing a raw rendition of Thousand Island Dressing. It's tangy, citrusy. Uh, it's going to have some body with some raw cauliflower. So this is full body cleanse approved. Again, this salad dressing is three to five day shelf life. Uh, it's thick, full of body, has some sweetness from some dates, uh, some tartness. We're going to get from some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Uh, so let's start building. We're going to first start with our knife cuts. Have some nice celery here. And since it's going in a blender, you can make smaller cuts. They can be rough chops. So we're just going to cut the celery in quarters. And then we're going to get it some little quarter moons. Next, the red onion. Quick dice on the red onion. Restaurant trick for dicing. We have our half moon here. Gonna make some incisions on the top, maybe about three or four. Then straight down. And then go across those. Nice diced onion every single time. It's about a quarter of a red onion. Recipe then calls for three diced Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes are much smaller. They're going to be a little sweeter than your hot house or your beefsteak tomato. Uh, and this is going to be perfect for a salad dressing. So we can cut that in quarters. Give that just a nice little rough chop. Next for sweetness, we're going to add some dates. Three or four dates. Dates are fruit. These have been pitted already. They're really delicious. Have some nice sweetness. Packed with potassium. So this is going to add some viscosity as well as sweetness to the Thousand Island dressing. Think of Thousand Island, you think of like thick bodied salad dressing. So this is going to help provide some of that texture. Now we're going to take two cloves of some garlic. Two ways of doing this. You can use a knife by flattening it, running your knife across it because it's going in a blender. It doesn't have to be too fine. Or you can use the microplane. A little salt, Himalayan salt, and some black pepper to taste. Here we have some cauliflower. The smaller the pieces you break in, the easier to work for your blender. Uh, so you can just break those, but this is about a cup. Just get it packed tightly in there. And lastly, we're going to add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Cut the lemons on the sides so we can maximize the yield of juice. You can see this has some seeds in it. Just so gonna squeeze directly into the cup. We're looking for about the juice of one lemon. This is gonna add some good acidity to it, some tartness to really bring out all the flavors in the salad dressing. So now we're gonna add just a Thin it out a little bit, a half a cup of water.
look at that. So here we have a beautiful raw rendition of Thousand Island Salad Dressing. If it's a little too viscous for your liking, you can always go back and add some more water. So that'll be one cup of water. Thousand Island dressing. 